It's now 6.37, the time, and uh, today is Monday, February 19th, 2024. I will now call this City Council regular meeting to order. Uh, I do certify that uh, we have a quorum of council. Uh, Mayor Alicat is out of town, and I, as your Mayor Pro Tem, will be presiding over the meeting in his absence. We will now have the Pledge of Allegiance, and that will be by the uh, Missouri City Sugar Land Jack and Jill group, uh, Guys and Dolls. So if we can welcome them. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Y'all, let's give this young group a round of applause. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Um, we would like to take a picture with you all, so if you all will stay right there, we're going to come down and take a picture with you. Uh, we will have a special presentation uh, by Chief uh, Harris. Is Chief Harris here? You want to come on up? Well, good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, good evening. Well, I appreciate you letting me be here again today. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, here to first publicly introduce Assistant Chief Hurd, uh, who is newly appointed police chief. I think you can see by the outpouring of support here that we clearly made the right choice. So if you allow me to read something real quick. Go ahead, applause. Five is okay. <laughs> Chief Hurd, come on up. Very shy. <laughs> so, Chief Erdner, I think we make a, a fantastic team. We're going to do great things for this department. Um, we complement each other in so many ways. Like I said, he's shy, and I'm not. He's not outspoken. I am totally the opposite. <laughs> so, I want to read something real quick about Assistant Chief Hurd. Assistant Chief Hurd is a Missouri City native and graduate of Thurgood Marshall High School. He is widely recognized for his community outreach and commitment to public service. Assistant Chief Hurd holds a bachelor's degree in business administration, and it has enhanced his professional development through prestigious executive leadership training, such as Northwestern University, Leadership Command College, and the National Forum for Black Public Administrators Executive Leadership Institute. 
He has ascended through the ranks and has a well-rounded experience, which is highlighted by his time in community outreach, investigations, patrol, and SWAT. Please welcome Assistant Chief Hurd. Boss Lady said I got one minute. <laughs> First and foremost, I just want to thank uh, God for all my past successes and my future successes. He leads me in my life at all times, so I must recognize that. I definitely want to recognize my wife for being a great support. Give it up for the wife. I got my parents back there. They're here to support. Um, Thank you, City Council, City Management, for your leadership and great job. I'm really excited about all of the things I know we will do here in Missouri City. Chief Harris, thank you so much. I really appreciate this opportunity. He's a great leader. Like you said, we complement each other very well, and I'm excited every day to come to work because I learn a lot from him just about every day. And hey, I'm just ready to serve. Let's get to it. <laughs> So we, your wife is ba your wife, kids. They want to come on up. Let's get a, a group picture. These are the people that support him every day. <laughs> and council, why don't y'all come down? Let's get a group picture. Did he say his parents? Did he what? His parents. His parents. Oh, your parents here? Yes. Oh yeah, come on, mom, dad, come on. Because of them. <laughs> I want to acknowledge all of the uh, Missouri City Police Department that came out to support their, their brother. Also, uh, Chief Gordon from the DA's office and State Rep Ron Reynolds is also here. All right, we are going to move on. And I need it kind of quiet for the next thing I'm going to do. So. <laughs> All right. So as we move on, I would like to start our city council meeting. Um, we can close those doors. Yeah. Okay.
All right, so as we move on, um, I do want to start our meeting with <laughs> happy occasion. All right, I do want to start our meeting with a moment of silence. Um, recently, one of our former city council members of Missouri City, also TERS number one board and arts and culture commission members, uh, passed away. Um, all of the city council members Every last one of us attended her memorial service. And so I want to uh, start with a moment of silence in honor of Miss Eunice Ryder, who uh, served our city tirelessly until uh, the very end. So if we'll bow our heads for a moment of silence. Thank you. Also in that same vein, um, I also want to observe a moment of silence for Mr. Joseph Aponte. Um, he was a first responder in the Fleet Division of Public Works for the city of Sugarland. Um, he recently passed away uh, during uh, the line of duty, and we are saddened for the loss of any life, but especially those lost during the service to the communities we serve. So if we can bow our heads um, to honor the life of Joseph Aponte. Thank you very much. All right, we will move on to public comments. Madam Secretary, did you receive any public comments? No, Madam uh, Mayor Pro Tem, I did not. What? <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to move on. <laughs> we're going to move on to number six, staff reports. Good evening, Mayor Pro Tem, Council. I, at this time, would like to provide an overview of each of the consent items before you tonight and address any questions that you may have regarding those items. Starting with item B, um, this would enable the purchase of a mobile column lift jack Equipment at cost not to exceed $80,244. This equipment will enable us to be able to lift fire trucks, which we currently do not have that capacity. Item C authorizes the negotiation of a contract not to exceed $425,000 with Blue Ops Construction to do the second phase of repair at the City Hall entrance plaza. The city opted to use Blue Ox for phase two of the city hall interest plaza because they completed phase one, which was awarded in September 2022. Staff felt it would be best to have the same contractor complete both phases to eliminate potential warranty issues between phases and or contractors. And additionally, Blue Ox Construction Incorporated is a certified historically underutilized business and an SBE small business enterprise. Item D allows for the receipt and approval of the fiscal year 23 annual reports for the tax increment reinvestment zones one, two, and three. Uh, this is an annual state requirement that must be completed by the end of February. Item E is seeking approval to grant a license to the HOA representing the Sienna residents for the maintenance of improvements on public property. Item F, this action authorizes parkland dedication proposal for Metaview Estates subdivision. Item G, um, this is the second and final reading to amend plan development number 85 to remove about seven acres and add them to planning development number 83 for outdoor storage, covered manufacturing area, and warehouse space. This has to do with the Millis Construction Group expanding their service area. Mm -hmm. Item H, second and final reading for to an ordinance to amend the rules and restrictions for plan development number 17. The regulations to be amended include address height and height an area, garage, landscaping, and fencing. This is the Denani property, which allows them to move forward <laughs> to construction. 
item I. Second and final reading to amend chapter 14, regulations adopting the 2021 edition of the International Codes and the 2023 edition of the National Electric Codes. Item J, second and final reading to amend chapter 38, fire prevention and protection, adopting the 2021 edition of the 2021 International Fire Codes. The effective date for all of the second and final readings is May 1st. All of the second and final readings passed unanimously by council previously. Now I have a couple of announcements that I'd like to share. Uh, DPW will be hosting the Southeast chapter of the American Public Works Association this Wednesday for their monthly membership meeting at our regional surface water treatment plant. Congratulations to the DPW team for bringing this prestigious meeting to Missouri City. The next item I'd like to announce, hopefully this doesn't apply to anyone in this room, uh, but we have started our warrant roundup period. <laughs> <laughs> this period will continue until March 14th. Uh, all the notices have been posted on all of our social media platforms, and individuals are strongly encouraged to contact our <coughs> municipal courts to determine if they're eligible for case resolution incentives to get those warrants addressed. <laughs> the last thing I'd like to note is based on Livability Magazine article, they name Missouri City as one of the top four suburbs in the Houston area. So, <laughs> so other than that, that concludes my report. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. I don't <laughs> see it in the queue. Nope. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem, I'd like to uh, uh, pull item two, uh, I mean, excuse me, item uh, 7C for conversation. Okay, we need a and uh, and I make a motion to approve all uh, except item seven C. So you, you had a motion from I thought it was Council, Council Member, Member Emery. Emery. And so if Council Member Emery would be willing to withdraw that motion, will you be willing to withdraw that motion, Council Member Emery? Yes, I okay. withdraw my motion. Okay. Um, so I see Council Member Boney in the queue. What is your uh, What is your pleasure, uh, Councilmember Boney? Uh, I'd like to uh, approve the consent agenda uh, and pull item seven C. Okay. All right. So the motion was made by Councilmember Boney to approve the consent agenda, except uh, item C. Uh, do I have a second? I see Councilmember Brown Marshall in the queue. Uh, let's take the vote. The motion carries unanimously to accept um, the consent agenda items A through J, except item C. Okay. All right, so we will now take up uh, item 7C. All right, I do, my simple question, uh, City Manager, is uh, how many phases are uh, the City Hall entrance plaza? Uh, is, it, is it just two phases? or two. So this will be it, we'll everything that we do from this point. I mean, this will conclude everything that, needed to be done for our city hall. That's I'll correct. Follow. Okay. That's correct. That's all I have. All right. Recognizing Council Member Brown Marshall. Okay, thank you so much. Um, city Manager, you made reference that we chose this vendor because they did phase one, and that portion was completed in 2022. Um, how long is the warranty? Are we still within warranty from phase one? We are still in warranty Okay. phase one. Okay, that sounds good. And I have one last question. Y'all gonna remove those pavers that tear up my high heels? <laughs> that is what this project <laughs> this project addresses. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Okay. No one else in the queue. We're gonna move on to uh, item eight, with the, which is authorizations. Uh, you're missing a motion to adopt seven C. Oh. Or authorize. All right. So, do we have a motion to adopt? We do have a motion to adopt seven C. Uh, by Council Member Riley, seconded by Council Member Maroulis. Let's uh, take the, our vote. 
The motion carries unanimously. All right, moving on to authorizations. Consideration and possible action to authorize the city manager to negotiate and execute a contract with Flock Safety, sole source vendor, to renew and add 25 additional cameras for a five-year term, not to exceed $802,300. Chief Brandon Harris. Good evening, Mayor. <laughs> Good evening. All right. Council Member Boney. Oh, yes. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Um, my question is, you're, so you say you're using these from the uh, drug seizure dollars? or We're going to purchase 25 cameras from the drug seizure. And, and I just, it would be helpful to kind of know, because I know we don't really use it a lot, but what the balance of that is, because uh, I'll, we... I'll no, I know you don't now. I'm just saying <laughs> for the future, it, it would be helpful to kind of know what we have in there. Uh, because I know it's important. Uh, are you sure that you don't need more than 25? I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, you know, seeing that uh, right now. Well, it, there's a budget. Okay. Okay. But I guess the question is, do we need more than 25 flock cameras right now? Not right now. Okay, where, where is the gaps? Uh, we want to... can't say why am I not leaning to it. They yeah, are. I'm I, sorry. I, I strike my question. I strike my question. <laughs> 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 I strike my question. Inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to get the gavel. <laughs> All right. Is that it, Council Member Boney? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, seeing no one else in the queue, uh, there's a recognizing Council Member Emery. No, I, I think it was great that you, you brought up the, uh, the, the fact that uh, this is used for uh, police use only, and uh, we protect all of the, uh, the rights that uh, our citizens have, you know, and uh, so uh, they can be assured that it's only used for police use and not for any other uh, purpose. So they can uh, rest assured that these aren't red light runner cameras or anything else that might uh, be uh, uh, subject to, uh, uh, to question. So thanks again. Recognizing uh, City Manager Jones. Yes, I just wanted to respond to the question about the approximate balance in the Caesar funds is about one point two million. Mm. Got some money to spend, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, motion by Councilmember Brown Marshall, seconded by Councilmember Riley. We are ready for the vote. The motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Chief Harris. We'll, we'll move on to resolutions. 9A, a resolution of the City Council of the City of Missouri City, Texas, identifying certain officials with authority to open and maintain an account or accounts with Wells Fargo Bank National Association, providing for repeal and containing other provisions relating to the subject. All right. I see a motion by Council Member Emery, a second by Council Member Maroulis. We are ready for the vote. The motion carries unanimously. All right. 
Moving on to city council announcements. I'm going to change things up a little bit today. Uh -oh. All right. We're going to start with you, Council Member Emery. <laughs> council Member of District D. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I had the, uh, the great uh, pleasure and distinction, my wife and I, of attending the uh, uh, event that we had at uh, the uh, Black History Month Gala. Uh, it was, uh, uh, first of all, it was uh, well uh, attended. And I was blown away by the nine year, nine, I think she was nine years old, the uh, length of the presentation that she made with no prompts, uh, and she didn't uh, miss a beat. And uh, I, I think uh, it just shows that we've got some great young people coming up behind us that uh, is going to make our future in Missouri City strong, and uh, we can look forward to that. So I was really uh, blown away by that presentation. Uh, and that is the extent of my comments. All right. We're going to throw it over to you, Council Member Boney. All right. Well, Keynote speaker. Oh, wow. I appreciate it. I hope everybody had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed, too, attending the uh, Black History, uh, you know, gala that we had where uh, Jerry White, former council member and mayor pro tem, Jerry White was honored as uh, being the first African-American since Reconstruction to be elected in Missouri City and the first ever African-American city council member in Missouri City. Uh, great to see staff and my colleagues uh, there as well. We also had a, a wonderful coffee with leadership. Uh, great to see uh, those getting kicked back off. I enjoyed uh, being there. As uh, Mayor Pro Tem Clouser mentioned, uh, we all attended the memorial services uh, of Eunice Ryder. Uh, who I had the pleasure of serving with on uh, on uh, the CDAC committee. And uh, one thing I will share about her is uh, she was a very, very detail-oriented person and encouraged me to come prepared to the meetings uh, by doing my research, and she knew how to move a meeting forward. She knew Robert's uh, rules of order like the back of her hand, and so uh, she definitely uh, is and was an inspiration, including... Uh, jumping out of a perfectly good airplane <laughs> at the age of 83, I want to say, uh, years of age. When I saw that come across my news feed, I was like, wow, she beat me to it. So I plan to do that as well. Uh, attended the uh, dedication ceremony of Fort Bend Parkway Sienna Ranch Extension. We had a, a wonderful uh, two-day retreat, council retreat, uh, where we... Uh, you know, collaboratively work together to try to put forth some uh, path forward goals and objectives that we want to see to help move Missouri City forward, and I believe we, we did just that. Uh, also, uh, kudos to the Parks and Recreation uh, uh, Department for being awarded a $1 million grant from HGAC, uh, which will help go towards um, converting the 3.2-mile Hunter's Glen jogging trail from decomposed granite to concrete, uh, evaluate current bridge structures, and add other amenities like benches, in other words. So kudos uh, to all of you all in Parks and Rec. And last but not least, uh, great job, Mayor Pro Tem Clouser, on filling in the gap and helping move us forward with this agenda. Thank you. All right, throwing it over to Council Member. District C, the place to be. Oh, no, I was trying to figure go? it out. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep that thing away. Um, thank you, staff, for putting together a great retreat. Uh, I thank those uh, that witnessed what happened Saturday late. Uh, we grew closer as a team. And um, how exciting is it to be number four? That shows how hard you guys are working, how well we work together. Uh, black history, I have two things. First of all, I enjoyed the gala as well, AI versus BI. I thought that was a great theme. Uh, Jeff, you did an outstanding job. Um, well-deserved to Councilmember Wyatt. I served with him, and he, too, was prepared. He would not accept a laptop. He called his binder a laptop, which had pages and pages of content highlighted. He joins us laughing. <laughs> um, but congratulations to Jerry. Um, I, too, attended. All of us attended Councilmember uh, Ryder's memorial, and um, it was great to see her family. But um, I, I just commended her for her hard work. So may her memory be eternal. Um, so the second thing about black history, though, is I always share this with my team, something cool 
So uh, George Franklin Grant was the first American professor at Harvard. He was also a Boston dentist, and he invented the wooden golf tee, Floyd. Uh (laughs) (laughs) So I shared uh, this with my team. Thought it would be a great thing to share with the community. Finally, uh, great job tonight, and go vote tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Brown Marshall. Thank you so much, Mayor Pro Tem. I really appreciate it. Um, big congratulations goes out to Assistant Chief uh, Hurd. Um, it, it's, it's just refreshing to see that um, our police department is definitely on the upswing. I mean, you guys are getting pretty close to being fully, fully staffed, really, really close. And so I'm excited to have both uh, Hurd and, of course, Chief Harris working together as a team. Our city council retreat was a it was just epic. It was phenomenal. Um, the retreat gave me a new sense of hope and rejuvenation as we discussed innovative and thought-provoking ideas and challenges and legislative changes and growth. I was most proud of how our moderator, Randy, was able to pivot and captivate our desires. His grip on the reality by intertwining both city council and city staff's contributions towards the city's success was most appreciated by me as well. So whatever juju, we use that word (laughs) quite a bit during the uh, retreat, whatever magic he has that he was able to pull us all together, it was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, Black History Month right here in Missouri City has been phenomenal. I mean, we have had so many events. Um, Just a reminder, the Shades of Brilliance event, um, where we'll recognize young authors, It has been rescheduled to February the 23rd. So make sure you put that on your calendars. The third annual Freedom Walk is this coming Saturday morning at 9 a.m. It is a huge treat um, just to get out there near Freedom Tree Park and to do a walk together is one, one accord, if you will, and in unison. So make sure we're there. I want to thank the city um, for putting on these events along with our partners, the Edison Arts Foundation, Uh, HEB and many others, but most importantly, I want to thank the Public Works Department, the Parks Department, and of course, communications. You guys really step up and and lead us during this time. We said it last month, we're one of the fewer cities that recognizes this all month long, so it's really and truly an all-hands-on-deck situation. Um, Council Member Eunice Ryder, man, she will be truly, truly missed. Um, But I rest assured, she left a mentoring legacy that will not be forgotten ever. Mayor Pro Tem, good job. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) All right. Uh, Council Member Riley. Save the best for last. (laughs) I'm the last. (laughs) So you're right. Carry on. (laughs) Well, last of the districts. (laughs) Well, first of all, let me say you did an outstanding job tonight. And the, the fact that we're getting out of here before Robin Ellicat time, <laughs> uh, you, you, you can stand over there anytime you want. So great job. Thank you, Mayor yeah. Pro Tem Clouser. Um, I, too, had the pleasure um, and humbling uh, opportunity to attend Eunice Ryder. Um, you know, memorial service. She, it was very personal to me. I never served with her, but she was my personal uh, council member uh, in District A. I knew her when I was a young young adult um, who had bought my first home in District A after growing up in District A. So she was my council member uh, for 20 years um, until uh, she passed the, uh, passed the reins. And so just knowing her personally and watching her and seeing how she served helped me to learn a lot uh, for the one day that I never thought I would be sitting in her seat but it was definitely big shoes to fill. So, you know, I'm very grateful to have been there um, and so grateful that all of our members of council were present together. Um, It was a beautiful presence. Um, I also attended the uh, former mayor, um, uh, Yolanda Ford's, her mother's uh, passing her uh, memorial service as well, which they were just a couple of days apart. Um, The Coffee with Leadership, it was so refreshing. Uh, to be back with everybody, the the team and the council members, drinking free coffee that we didn't have to pay for. Uh, So thank everybody for coming out. And um, I also want to say thank you to um, all of the team, all the district, 
district. All the, the directors and the assistant city manager, city manager, secretary, and attorney for putting together a great retreat um, and just being able to have some camaraderie, have some laughs and some jokes. Uh, that, was, that was really fun. And we walked away with some tangible outcomes uh, that we were going to be able to do. Um, I am also uh, had the honor of going to Quail Green West HOA as well as Fawn Meadow uh, HOA as well. And grateful to um, Walter uh, Gantz, our neighborhood services, for being on that call. And then, of course, uh, Assistant City Manager um, Jason Mangum and Shashi for uh, helping me work through some things with uh, Quail Green West. Uh, hopefully, everybody had a great and happy Valentine's Day, because uh, I know I did. Um, we had a great uh, Black History Gala, which was a lot of fun. Uh, to catch the tail end of it. And then lastly, I want to say congratulations to Snow Dreams, um, another wonderful minority-owned business that sells all carnival food, Frito pies and nachos and chicken wings and great snow cones and candy right there, 1731 Texas Parkway. So please go out there and support um, our businesses right here in Missouri City. And that concludes my message. Yes. Now take it away. Well, Councilmember Boney decided he wanted to say something. You got 20 seconds. Well, I had 45 still left, you know. But no, I just wanted to. I just was uh, in honor. You know honor, how y'all do me when the mayor's away? <laughs> no, in honor of Black History Month. Almost going to be out of here. In honor of Black History Month, I just wanted to say this upcoming uh, Friday, uh, the first black sheriff in the United States is right out of here in Fort Bend County. And his name is, uh, Sher well, was Sheriff Walter Moses Burton. He also was the first African-American tax assessor in Fort Bend County. He was also uh, first black uh, state uh, senator in the state of Texas. Uh, and he's right out of uh, Fort Bend County. So he's buried at Morton Cemetery in uh, Rit uh, Richmond, and they'll have a wreath land ceremony where they're going to be honoring him as well as all of the black sheriffs across the United States uh, this, uh, at 9 o'clock a.m. Uh, on this Friday. All right. Where? Morton Cemetery in Richmond, Texas. <laughs> Thank you for that, Council Member Boney. Um, so I, as well, attended um, Council Member, uh, former Council Member uh, Eunice Ryder's funeral. Um, it was actually a memorial service, and we had an opportunity to present her family uh, with a certificate and just hug on them and love on them and share our memories uh, with, their, um, with her children, and they were so appreciative of that. Um, also, the Coffee with Leadership, uh, at our new city uh, police department annex. And I didn't realize so many people could fit in that building, but uh, it was, there was a lot of great energy. And so I think uh, we, we just really felt the love and people are happy that it's, it's back, but quarterly, right? Yes. Quarterly, yes, <laughs> quarterly. So, um, so thank you. And I'm sorry, you just said quarterly. It really was supposed to be biannually. Okay, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so we had a, we had a great one. Um, I attended the uh, Fort Bend County Siena Tollway Extension Project. So thank you to um, uh, Fort Bend County Judge uh, uh, George, uh, Judge George and uh, commissioner, the commissioners that had took part in that. Um, the two-day retreat, wow. I think those, those two days, although they were long, they were effect, an effective use of our time. And we really, really came out of that um, with a great understanding. And so I want to uh, say thank you to our directors. If you are a director and you were with us Friday night and all day Saturday, if you will please stand up. If you weathered the storm with us at the retreat, stand <laughs> please stand up. <laughs> our appointees didn't stand up, but um, we, we want to say... <laughs> We want to say, what did you say? Well, the direct, well, you're, okay. Well, <laughs> everybody that was there. So we want to sincerely say thank you so much for your attentiveness, for your participation, and for the work that you do each and every day to keep this city moving. I don't think we tell you all enough how much we appreciate you, um, and especially to our appointees for all the work that you do. Um, it takes a lot of work to put something like that together behind the scenes, and all the reports are detailed, and so for you all to present those, we appreciate you. I want to throw a special nod to Jarrell. Jarrell has been, 
he uh, work, he's our deputy city secretary, and, and I tell you, I don't know how you do it some days. I was walking down the hall, and I said, I need a stapler. I didn't even know Jarrell was in earshot, but here comes Jarrell out, out of the, the, the dark with a stapler. And that just goes to show you how attentive he is to the city council. So I just wanted to publicly say thank you for all that you did. I attended a, uh, the Snow Dreams uh, ribbon cutting along with Council Member Riley and Council Member Danny Wynn, who's former Council Member Danny Wynn. He bought everybody snow cones, and so uh, we appreciate that. And um, I had the pleasure and honor of presenting a certificate to Ms. Jean, who was a longtime volunteer at the farmer's market this Saturday. Um, she put in over 400 hours at the farmer's market, and she is moving to Ohio with her family. And so um, I just wanted to publicly say thank her, to thank her and for her years of uh, service with the market and thank Ms. Thomasine Johnson for uh, running that market. And I see one of the volunteers uh, out in the office, out in the, um, uh, um, out in the chamber who volunteers each week. So, um, so yeah, so, and then the gala. The gala was amazing. Um, we had a great time. We danced the night away. But uh, Jerry Wyatt was a force to be reckoned with. And his speech, he didn't even have it written down. It was just off the cuff. And so uh, we appreciate Jerry Wyatt's years of service. Um, so that's the only time I can go over because I have control. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody's going to stop me. <laughs> so, so, so with that. Boys like this. <laughs> so with that, it's the only time I'm ever going to be able to go over. But how many times do y'all get out at 719? So there is, with no further business, we do not have an executive agenda item. So uh, Council Member Sonia Brown Marshall has her purse on the desk. There is no executive agenda. I now adjourn the meeting at 719. <laughs>